sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Can't get anything right. This is Alex, and I'm here until, uh, well, until midnight tonight. Why not? I have nothing else to do with my miserable life. Uh, hello, how are you? I Sorry, I screwed up the whole opening. Everything went wrong. I just, you know, it's just, I'm getting to the point. I just, I can't do this anymore. I really, I think this is my last week of doing this show, okay? Uh, because I'm just, I'm just... I'm 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 tired. I'm worn out. I don't have the strength to do it any longer. Well, anyway, uh, let's uh, let's go to our uh, uh, our uh, uh, thing here uh, and uh, go uh, over to our uh, panel. But we don't have our panel. We have Phil Meyer. Hello, Philip. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm feeling like crap. You know, I think that's going around. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm taking a new pill to get my sugar under control. It's brought my sugar down, but now I feel like shit, and my eyesight is bothering me because I'm accustomed to having high sugars. And uh, you know, you can't win. You can't you, win. You can't no. win. Well, I, I completely stopped a week ago doing my nice drug. Yeah. And every day I've been grouchy. And every day I go for my walk and I'm lightheaded for about the first 10 minutes of it. You know? Yeah. And then, I'm, then I get to be okay. Today, today was, I decided I didn't go walking yesterday because outside it was, the humidity was like um, unbelievable. Okay. And, and we had 93 degree heat. Wow, okay. that that's why I left New York when I was almost. Um, oh man, I can take just about anything. I cannot take humidity. I'm sorry. I just, what do you, you, know. you do in Houston? Isn't that a? Humidity? I know. I, why do you think I got left Houston? You know, yeah. I, I would have stayed there longer if it weren't for the humidity. Hell, for two years I never kept a crease in my pants. Yeah. <laughs> you guess you were wearing polyester. But anyway, but, so I I I. Uh, uh, so I, I go out for my walk today, and I'm and I'm afraid because it's again it was humid all day, and then all, one thing and another, and for, let me get that uh, pointer out of there. Okay, uh, and I, uh, uh, I I went outside, and mercifully, the heat had dropped ten degrees. Wow. Okay, and there was no humidity, and I'm going. This is okay, you know. So I start walking. Of course, I'm a little lightheaded you know, in the beginning of the walking, but but I'm walking and I'm going. This is nice. This is like two weeks ago when I used to take walks. This was the kind of walking weather I liked, right? So I, I do the thing, and uh, I coming around and I went up to the Morningside Park and then I'm coming back and I pass by Right Aid, and I go into Right Aid. Uh, and I, as, as I'm going into Rite Aid, there's a, a thing on my watch. It says, alert, flood warning for Harlem. What, what, were they having a sale on nice pills? Uh, no, no, flood warning. Why? Uh, what, is it raining? It wasn't raining then. I go in, I go buy some chocolate, I come out, and it is just, it's a deluge. Wow. It's like I know how Noah felt. You know, I you mean, buy an umbrella too. No, so I walk home and it's about a block and a half in this just driving rain. Yeah. And by the time I get to my apartment, I am wet from head to toe. Yeah, and I had to put all my clothes in the dryer. You that, know, that's the way it was. And then I put my myself in the dryer. I mean, it was that bad. I that's the way it was in Miami when I was going to school down there. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you'd, you'd walk out to your car and all of a sudden there was a deluge and the parking lot would have a foot and a half of water in it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I so, uh, you know, I got to ask you, I looked all over the GabNet site and I want to know where I register. 
What? Uh, I looked on the GabNet site, and I want to know where I register. Register for what? Uh, the Oscar Levant School of Broadcasting. Oh, the Oscar Levant, Levant School of Broadcasting. Well, yeah. you know, any day now, you know. All right, you're going to post it, I hope. You know, oh, you, yeah, you, the absolutely. Link, you know? The, the uh, Oscar Levant School of Broadcasting? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, didn't he buy the Columbia School of Broadcasting? I think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, he uh, no. If if you ever want to learn all about radio, go to Oscar Levant. Now I I had this guy. He wrote me something, right? And it's a little suspicious. And then he writes me back, but then with a different initials. And uh -huh. finally, I wrote him and I said, "Why don't you just go back to using the name Oscar?" And I didn't yeah. hear from him ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't know why you put up with it. Uh, you know, you wouldn't do it if somebody called in and spoke to you like that, mm -hmm. or or even uh, you know wrote some of the things that they write. So yeah. you know, but it, I know you well enough to know that if I tell you to do something, you're going to do the exact opposite. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you're a contrarian, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, I just you know I'm, I'm I'm sick of that. I'm just I just I'm I just don't I, I don't have the strength anymore to do this. I really don't. You know, I know how you feel. Uh, you know, it's it takes a lot out of you, yeah. and uh, you can keep your finger in the dike if you just, you know, maybe do it one time a week. The well, lesbians wouldn't like that. <laughs> you need two fingers. No, I mean, I do the show on Monday, and maybe I'll do a Friday show or something. But I mean, every night, I mean, it's just getting to be too much for me. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm 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 tired all the time. When I take those pills, I'm not as tired, believe it or not, even though they make me, make me loopy the next day. Yeah. But they, for some reason, give me a certain amount of energy, and I haven't had that energy since I stopped taking them. Yeah, you well, know? And, and it's with cocaine. Yeah. By the way, thank you for this. He sent me this. Yes, have, uh, you're on yellow. Okay. I'm on yellow. Uh, have you been using it? I've been using it a little bit, like when I'm sitting here doing the show, and I just, uh, you know. Yeah, you squeeze like that. Yeah. Uh, when I do it, I, I hear my knuckles crack. Well, no, I don't. I, I have arth arthritis. And, and he gave me this, this shot of cortisone, right? Right. Which hurts like hell. All right? right. So he gives me the cortisone shot, but I'll put up with it if it makes the, the pain go away. You, so, you showed me the black and blue you had. Yeah, there. yeah. And so it went away. Yeah. And now it's back again. Two weeks later, it's back again. Really? Maybe you're allergic to that. Maybe shit. worse than it was. You know. <laughs> so I'm trying this. I figure, you know. It works. Uh, I'm telling you, I, uh, I'm up to the green. There are, diff there are different colors, and each one is a different strength. Right. You know. So you start with the yellow, and, you yeah. and, it's, and it's to strengthen your hand, but it also seems to uh, help with arthritis. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the only uh, issue you're going to have is when you get this to the what green. old people talk about, folks, when they do a show. You know, uh, you know uh, there, there, are, there are things that the therapists have, and this is one of them, that uh, really make a difference. Uh, I told Alan about it, and he bought one. Mm -hmm. And he wrote me last night, and he says, thank you for telling me about this. It's, uh, well, it's really it, you know, I'll have to do it more often, like while I'm sitting here on the air. You know? Yeah. Well, I, I do. Well, I'm not doing it right now, but I do it when I watch television. Uh, uh, I just want to get this hand strong enough again so I can jerk off with it. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you do the? Do you use the left hand too? Matter of fact, if you use both hands, you know, uh, not simultaneously, but uh, well, this hand isn't that bad. This hand the other day it was stinging. It was that what, bad. You're... Yeah, this one. He told me that right here is yeah. where most people get arthritis if they're going to get it. That's yeah. it. You know, that's the big arthritis area. Because I don't have much. I don't think I have arthritis anywhere else. Yeah. Well, I, I have arthritis in my fingers, and part of it is, you know, we type on keyboards. Could that be it? I don't know. I would think that would strengthen it rather than make it uh, worse. Repetitive motion. Huh? Really? It's a repetitive motion, you know? Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I found that uh, after a while, uh, and if I'm typing yeah. a lot, I, I can't close my fingers. But you, 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 know what's so, you know what's so cool about this stuff, though? 
look, uh, look, I put it like back. I put, I, I put it back in the in in its little holder, right? See how it's I, like that. And, it and if I go back to it in about an hour, yeah, it will have flattened out and filled in the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I've discovered a trick to get it out easily. I put it on its side, and then I'm able to grasp it and uh, just and dig in there and get it. What, what's with the, what's with what's your problem? Well, you know, I'm lazy, yeah. but uh, I have to tell you that that has been uh, a real a boon. Now you don't drive anymore, but if I'm in the car, mm. not only is it comfortable for your hands yeah. and you're doing something with them, but uh, it's it, it gets rid of stress. Does it? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. You, you know, you're doing that with your hand. And and it's a, I get rid of stress, and then Oscar Levant will write me again. <laughs> yeah. Well, just put a link to his school. Yeah. What a piece of shit that Oscar Levant is, huh? Well, I, you know, he, he was one of my biggest detractors. Was uh, he really? Over, yeah, over the last five or six years. Oh, that guy hated me, you know. And, well, uh, when I was growing up, Oscar Levant, the real one. Yeah, the, the heavy the, chain smoker, well, he bad a, teeth. He was a pianist. Yeah, bad teeth, chain smoker. I don't think he had bad uh, teeth. He didn't have bad teeth. Oh, no, his teeth were awful. His I, best friend was George Gershwin. I know, yeah, and he uh, used to do the piano. in like, Rhapsody uh, in, in Blue. Rhapsody in Blue. But uh, what was the um, movie that uh, that he did? Was that the... Uh, well, they uh, did. They did uh, the George Gershwin movie. Yeah, yeah. What long about after American? Gershwin was dead, and he played Oscar Levant played himself in that picture. Yeah, I think the picture is called Rhapsody in Blue. Yeah, he's a great pianist. Mm -hmm. But now, look, he's he's gotten out of piano and he's into broadcasting. Yes, you know? and he, giving giving hints to well, to inexperienced broadcasters like myself. He used to give you hints about getting rid of me. And that never bothered you. Well, I'm just so tired of, you know, that now that you're you're back on and people are going, oh, why don't you have him do the rest of the show? And I'm going, you're the same people who wrote and said, get rid of him. Right. Well, you know, I... But we, can, we can't stand Alan. <laughs> you, you asked me, you know, to, to, to do the show, and I, I'm saying to myself, you know, the reason that I didn't was that I was monopolizing the uh the the show uh because you know people would attack me and i would go back you know and uh so rather than get you so upset that yeah. i'm monopolizing and i said ah, I, I just want to kind uh, of admit it you did enjoy being on last week for the whole show i love those people they're so nice yeah. and and yeah. you know yeah. they have been uh a a, a a backbone of the last uh, six years basically and uh, you know uh, they're they're good people, mm -hmm. and and I enjoy their company. And I, you know I I miss them. It was something. There's something about your show, the calling in every night. It's mm -hmm. like family. Yeah. And and uh, you know and they, and they're nice people. Yeah. Yeah. No, they really are. But um uh but then now they now they go after now they go after Alan. You know. Well, and rightfully so. You know. What do you mean rightfully so? I mean, I'm kidding. Alan is, you know, uh, I, I sent you Alan to, you know, to, uh, to give you a liberal that you could yell at. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he writes stuff in his letter like, well, the reason Shecky never calls the night show, the reason Shecky doesn't call the night show is he's never called the night show. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I, I get up at 430 now. Uh, I like the morning. Uh, the morning is quiet. The phones aren't ringing. I can watch the news, which, by the way, I'm having a problem with uh, YouTube TV. They're they're having a feud with um, Roku. Oh, really? So, yeah. So there's no more YouTube no, TV. Actually, Roku. Roku is having problems with YouTube. Roku yeah. has a lot of problems with all of them. You know what happened with YouTube with Roku? You pay the thing. You pay for the thing, okay? You pay ninety nine bucks for the thing. Maybe you can get it at seventy nine when it's on sale or whatever, for the, the for the best one they have, and uh, you think that's the end of it. And it used to be. It used to be they just you know you downloaded the apps and put them on there and you'd watch Netflix and you watch this and you watch that. 
all of a sudden they're getting into pissing matches with like HBO Max and now YouTube because they want a piece of the action. Right. Now, th what's wrong about that theory is the only reason anybody ever bought a Roku is because you could play the apps on Roku. Right. So why are you suddenly trying to make them, you know, pay money to you well, for you to I run their, their, uh, their app? That's yeah. what's happening with everything on the internet. I'm re let's say I'm uh, I get up in the morning. Yeah. I'm reading an a uh, an article on my phone, mm -hmm. uh, news article. Yeah. Is, is if you open this uh, this particular vendor uh, a few times, then they want you to pay for a monthly subscription. Yeah. Uh, and and I'm getting bombarded with this. I can't read an article without half the screen being covered because they want me to subscribe or to uh, do a monthly subscription. So uh, in the early days of the internet, mm -hmm. everything was free, and uh, you know people expected if it was on the internet, it was free. You didn't have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And now everything uh, you know they're trying to monetize every every part of it yeah so uh, now what i've done is i figured okay the chromecast is owned by google google so 29.99 because i don't have a 4k tv uh 29.99 i'm getting a uh, a chromecast it, it's a dongle you plug it in right and i'll be able to get that and i'll probably be able to put on I have HBO Max, I have Prime, I have uh, Netflix, mm -hmm. I have a number of things, and I'll just put it on that and forget the uh, uh, forget the, uh, the the Roku. Well, I was well, I was really mad at, at at Roku because for the longest time we didn't get HBO Max, right? Because they were in the pissing match with them. Oh, well, we want a piece of the action. Well, well I'm getting HBO Max on a Roku. Oh, now. Yeah. But, but for a while, you couldn't get it on Roku. They had a pissing match going with them. You, you, you call them and say, I got a GabNet channel on there, and you know you better put HBO Max on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just that without those apps, nobody will buy a Roku. Right. Okay? I, so I, how I, dare you say you can't have an app here when really – that's that's how you make your bit. That's the core of your business. Are that people can get HBO, that they can get Showtime, that they can get, you know, uh, by just installing apps and paying for them. Yeah. So I I got pissed. the reason I went to the Roku yeah. was I got pissed at AT and T. Uh, what happened was I disconnected something. I didn't look to see what color wire went where. And then I called AT&T and I said, tell me how to put this thing back together. So, uh, so they said, oh, no, we're going to have to send a technician. I said, what do you mean a technician? I self-installed it in the first place. I don't need a technician. Just tell me if the red wire goes on the top and the blue wire goes on the bottom. Yeah. And, you know, it's your piece of equipment. So uh, they wouldn't do it. And they said, well, we'll send out a technician. I said, well, if you send out a technician, the only person that's going to be here that day was my dog. I said, because I'm at work. And uh, they and they said that the problem was in the street. I said, the problem can't be in the street. He, I he, listen, I went up. through that with our cable company here yeah. and I was downtown because every uh, it, it was a constant glitching of all the channels, constant glitching, constant glitching. And I, and I would the, call the cable company and they would go, well, we have to send one, somebody out there eventually, but it may just be a problem with you. And, and they wouldn't do anything. For three months, I had a blink, blink, blink. In the meantime, I learned how to download torrents. So I got yeah. all the shows I wanted to watch without commercials. Well, uh, and, and wait a minute, and that's how I started stealing TV shows because I I couldn't get the ones I was legitimately paying for. Now, right. all of a sudden, one day they finally send somebody out. I, I yell and I scream and I yell and I scream and finally they send somebody out, and they go down to the basement. And say, oh, there's water in the basement. Yeah, and it's ruining that that uh, that line. Action. Yeah, right. And I'm going. You couldn't do this three months ago right you know so, so these these people will drive you bad so Just i batty. said i said uh you tell me it's in the street but you got to come into my apartment because they want to charge me and so uh the next i said to them when's my contract up and they said oh it's up tomorrow 
I said, good. I said, if you guys come out and it's not out in the street, like I told you, I did this. I, I messed it up. I pulled the wires out when I moved the thing. And so uh, they, they next day I said, guess what? Cancel my uh, cancel me. I'm done. So I call up Comcast, which is the only other provider at the time. Right. Comcast says, oh, we'll be out on Tuesday. Well, this was Monday. So I said, oh, that's good. So then I find out it was two weeks Tuesday. I said, no, <laughs> that's not going to work. So I got a Roku. And uh, Damien told me, you know, what to do uh, because I guess he's uh, accustomed uh, to not yeah. having those kinds of services. He doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. And so I got the Roku and I've been using it for several years and I liked it. And until uh, the Google TV uh, yeah. went away. Yeah. Well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, two, two things that happened to me. Number one, the other day, Marjorie, you know, she, it's, it's tennis time of the year. And, and so the, she, the tennis channel is running the, the match uh, coming to you from France, the French Open. Okay. She wants to watch it. The only problem is that in order to get most of the matches, she has to subscribe to uh, Tennis Channel Plus. Oh. Okay. So she looks at it and she says, oh, here it says you can subscribe to it. Let's see how much it costs. And she clicks on subscribe. Right. And it automatically subscribes me at $107 for the first year. What's the second year? The, I don't know. <laughs> I, I then went over to the site thinking maybe I had a 10 day free trial or something and I could just say unsubscribe me. And I said unsubscribe me, but all it did was it unsubscribed me from the automatic renewal a year from now. So now I call up Roku and I say, what's with this? I want this taken off. It was, it was started accidentally and she says, we can't do anything about it. Once you buy it, it's yours. Huh. And I said, listen, when I came on this call, because when I started the call, she says, what's your name? What's your birth date? Here, we're going to send you a two-factor identification and blah, blah, blah. There are about five different steps I had to go through before she'd even listen to me. And I, I said to her, I said, you put me through all of that, and yet you didn't put me through the same thing when I wanted to subscribe to something. You didn't oh, ask me, you didn't ask me, are you sure you want to subscribe at $109? I just wanted to see what the price was. Yeah. You know? Well, and that and I had that happen once before with Roku. They don't have any warning. They so want you to subscribe to something through them that right. they don't even do anything to stop you. Like, are you sure you want it? Now, I can't remember half the time which credit card I used, what uh, uh, what email address I used. And I sign up for these things. And I'll if I die, I will never be able to get off of their pay uh, pay yeah. plan. Well, the you newest know, thing is driving me crazy. OK, this one really is driving me nuts. Uh, lately, for some reason, because Amazon's doing the deliveries over the last month, five of my deliveries have not gotten here. OK, mm -hmm. so I have to call them up and say, hey, I didn't get my package. Uh, I want a new one sent out. And then th they say to me, well, you have to wait 24 hours because sometimes things are marked as having been delivered when they haven't even been delivered yet. You have to yeah, wait. Tw fine. You have to wait 24 hours. And I'm going, I want my money now because I've had this happen three other times this month or two or four other times this month or five other times this month. And they didn't come the next day. Yeah, there was no, no, uh, uh, you know. I need new socks. So did they, wait a minute, wait a minute. So today yeah. I call up, and I call up yesterday, right yesterday, and they said, you have to wait 24 hours. Okay, I'll wait 24 hours. So tonight I call at 7 o'clock, and the woman says to me, oh, well, we can't send anything back out to you uh, uh, before 8 o'clock tonight, because that's the 24-hour period. I said, it's 7 o'clock right now. Do you think I, do you want to stay on the line for the next hour with me till we can see the countdown happen? I mean, yeah. it was, it's this kind of insanity. You can't get anything well, done. Everything you know. is being blamed on COVID. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. I ordered on, on uh, May 1st, 
I ordered mm -hmm. six pair of socks from this company called Kane 11. They make socks that are specific to your size. Yeah. I have a, so I, I got a size nine sock. Instead of yeah. getting a nine to 12 and having it bunch up in your shoe, I mm -hmm. ordered six pair of socks that are specific to my size. Wow. So uh, May 1st, here it is, June 8th. Mm -hmm. I still don't have them. And their really? website says that they, you know, sent. So I wrote them uh, two weeks, three weeks ago. And I said, what's going on? Don't you like me? And they said, well, it's due to COVID. Uh, so they said, it, and so then they send me this thing that they printed a shipping label. Mm -hmm. But the tracking on it, there's no, it hasn't been received yet. Mm hmm so I just called my credit card company or uh, did something online, swiped it or so, something. Yeah. And uh, they uh, refunded my money immediately. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think the socks are going to show up. I think this uh, company is probably in financial trouble. If really? This is the way uh, shipping stuff. Wow. And, Wait a minute. Hold yeah. on a second. I'm, I'm just having to. What happened was my camera froze up on me. Really? Oh yeah, it, it froze up on me. Well, you didn't freeze on uh, on hmm? uh, Zoom. No, yeah, no, I I and I I have to do a few things here. Just keep talking. To, to, <clears throat> continue so, with your with your story. Okay? Well, uh, anyway, I got my sixty three dollars back mm -hmm. for six pair of socks. Right and now, I got to go to Nordstrom. I've been holding off. Yeah, they, they have holes in them. Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 I should have replaced them in April, but. Uh, you know, now uh, here it is June and mm -hmm. I'm still, you know, sockless. Wow. Uh, wow. Well, let me see that, here. I'm trying to see something here. Hold mm -hmm. on. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Let me see here. Is that changing right. anything now? Is that? Oh, there we go. There we go. And then I got to do something here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my other um, uh, camera going here. Uh, Are those because, the defective cameras that Alan told you about? No, he said no the, for some reason, this camera tonight, for the first time, it's never done this before, it's a whole new thing, froze up. It just froze, you know. But I, uh, So I had to unplug it and then plug it back in to get it working. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Oscar Levant said that the Wuhan lab mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the virus, uh, it seems as though none of the virus came from the wet market. Uh, is uh, what the Oxford study is saying. I don't know who these Oxford guys are, but... Um, you know something? Uh, we, could, we could go through that whole thing. I, I don't know that it necessarily came from the lab. I think the lab may have been looking at some of the stuff that was going around, and they may have caught it and gone into the hospital with it. Uh, right. But, you and know, it, usually, it, usually they're pretty good at these labs to make sure that they're all suited up and everything, and you know, I mean, they've been dealing with these things for years because all those, all the big flus come from Asia. Okay. Yeah. They all come from Asia. They're, they're years. Uh, huh? Swine, bird. All of them. All of them. They, they usually start on farms. Uh, yeah. And so China has been using, has been checking this virology for years and has been working on it. So they pretty well know what's happening, what's not happening and how to protect yourself. I don't think that it necessarily was... You know, if it happened, there was an accident that happened there, but sure. But but, they, but still, accident. they would have to have infected other people in the process. You know, so yes, they did. Well, they claim uh, that nobody was sick. That's what they're saying. Okay. Yeah, that's because they killed them all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, I mean, yeah, you know, I know their population went down quite a bit, uh, and uh, you know. All of a sudden, people were vanishing uh, from the Wuhan lab. The doctor that said that there, uh, you know, that there was a virus, mm -hmm. he's gone or she. I think it might have been a she. But um, but anyway, I mean, I you know, I don't, I don't think it was anything purposeful that they did. If there was a, something, yeah, you know, I mean, how far do we go on this deal? You know, well, uh, India, uh, the uh, World Health Organization oh. chief scientist was served legal notice in India for allegedly suppressing data on uh, on a drug to treat COVID-19. I wonder what the drug was. Was it hydrochloroquine? Where'd you read this? Where'd you read this? It was a... Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where, where'd you read it? Right here. Um, let me, uh, 
uh, from the Indian Bar Association threatens to sue uh, World Health Organization chief scientists. Yes, for, but where did you? What, what, no, but uh, what what site did it come from? Um, AFP in Geneva. Oh, I, I, uh, AFP. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't one of your right wing sources. Uh, well, yeah, it is. Oh, I mean, that, <laughs> you know, the, the, the right wing source kind of packages all the stories. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, but this was interesting, you know, that uh, uh, all of a sudden we're finding out that we did get a lot of misinformation. Yeah. Hey, well, listen, we're, we, we've run out of time here. If I don't, if I don't get to these other people, they're going to be very mad at me. So. Well, I, those are the people I like. Huh? <laughs> I like those people. They're nice people. Yeah, they're very nice. Very nice people. Very nice, nice people. Yeah. I I hope you feel better. Use that. Uh, use that stuff. Well, do I sound like I'm I'm sick? Like I'm ill? No, you sound tired though. What? I sound tired. Yeah. How do I sound tired? Um. How do you sound tired? Uh, it's you, you don't have that uh, jump in your step, if you know what I mean. Uh, you're here, you're doing it, but uh, it's like a slog. Okay, well, maybe I should quit then. I well, there's no reason to, to quit. You just need a different drug or, uh, you know, you need to use that stuff. In, in your hand. Maybe I need some something. Maybe something's missing in my system. I, I, well, look, uh, I know you got to get out of here, but uh, I think that maybe you're, you've been locked up too long. Uh, you know, kids are committing suicide over uh, the COVID lockdowns. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's to the point, I know that things are opening up, mm -hmm. but it's still, you know, it's oppressive. And how long can you live under this kind of oppression until you yeah. until it takes a toll on you? Exactly, exactly. Well, let me get to my people. So I, I sound tired tonight. Is what you're saying? Uh, you've been sound tired lately. I I think that maybe you you need some sunshine. I know you're getting these walks, uh, you know, but you need maybe you need to a change of environment for a little while. You know. Like yeah. A, a, yeah. A, you know, a, a week in the south of France, or, you know. Well, because uh, I thought I was kind of peppy tonight. I mean, you know. Uh, you know. Okay, well, pew. it's time for me to probably just quit the whole thing because I'm exhausted. Uh, well, ask Oscar. Ask he'll, Oscar. He'll, uh, he'll, Oscar. Uh, yeah, Oscar yeah. will tell me. All right. Yeah. Anyway, look, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, our old friend and uh, longtime uh, uh, companion, uh, uh, Phil Meyer. Thank you very much, Phil, for being here. Bye-bye. Feel Okay, right. okay. Bye. Let me turn this on. See what was happening. This picture, this camera, was freezing up on me, and I and I was just, I was like that. You know, I hear more people in the waiting room. Anyway, so do I, let me see here. Let me uh, admit all these people into the uh, into the panel. Let's see here. Here they come. There they go, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, also uh, Bob Kazoo, who is. Uh, uh, Coming in, it's Kathleen. Uh, hello, Kathleen. Uh, move your camera so we can see your whole face, Kathleen. No. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm not going to. No. 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 Not going to. So do I seem tired to you guys? No. Always. <laughs> really? I don't seem tired. No, you don't seem tired. No. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> then you know, Phil, Phil took some Republican pills. And he thinks everybody's tired now. What are Republican pills? I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, how, how are you people doing tonight? Good. Good. How was your weekend? Good. Are you still, you're still in, uh, in your vacation spot, aren't you, Vernon? You're in the blue, is that the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia? Uh, not technically. I think the Blue Ridge Mountains are a little further east of me. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, but he's on vacation, um, which I, I think I need. That's what I need is a vacation. I need, yeah, absolutely. You know, I need like, I don't know. Go to Florida. I hear Miami's got some good hotel rates. Florida. Yeah, like I'm gonna go, like I'm gonna go so back there. I, I I understand you got the squeezy stuff. I'm on yellow also. You're on yellow also. 
I see. It, it, it's actually helping my hands. I'm, I'm, they're not aching as much. I find you can do other things with it, though, too. You can make a mustache. <laughs> oh, God. All kinds of stuff. Maybe snot coming out of your nose. Yeah, yeah. Put it, oh, put yeah, one yeah, in yeah. one side and yeah. let it hang down. The green, I'll wait till I well, get see, the, I mentioned earlier that I put this in kind of all, I'll get the green all scru the, the, scrunched up and see what's happening to it, folks. Although it's it's kind my, of wow. Mine does the same thing. That and one, it doesn't it, it does it quicker than an hour. It, it kind of thinks of itself as being uh, not yellow, but green. Kind of, maybe it is a greenish yellow, and that's the reason why. It, uh, I, I know you you didn't pay anything for yours. But yours are made in China. Mine are made in the United States. You got two <coughs> ounce per thing, and I got three ounce per thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> that silly putty, or well, what is, is that? Well, this is Y Brothers. No, it's it's Masai. Oh, by the way, I got something for you. This is okay. I'm watching Fox tonight just to see what the hell's happening with with Tucker Carlson. And uh, there's an ad on. And after it was over, I said, "This has got to be a put on." this ad and it was an ad for a problem that happens it occurs when your sex glands produce little or no hormones and the question I have for you tonight is does anybody know the term for what occurs when your sex glands produce little or no sex hormones what's it called low testosterone no but sterility the, no because women get it too their sex glands uh, uh well, it primarily ways. is in the testes in men and the ovaries in women that produce the sex or sex hormones but if you're not producing it what is that well that that ism called death you death. ready for this <laughs> I, I thought this was a joke but i looked it up and it's true hypogonadism what the fuck? Hi, hi, hypogonad is. You need to find a gonad actor. Is that why the Republicans are all messed up? Because they have the no gonads. The sex glands are That's also right. called the gonads. I did yeah. not know that. I thought that was just something you said when somebody kicked in the balls and you said, "I just took a hit of the gonads." <laughs> took one for the team. But I hate when that happens. So, <laughs> anybody here have gonadism? Anybody? Anybody? No. 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 I'm going to tell people, God, you sound like, you know, the way you're bitching, you sound like you've got gonadism. Yeah, good. That's what you do. Yeah. You couldn't catch cold. You in you in your hair. <laughs> I got a bit. Boy, you, 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 we can't even see her long blonde tresses tonight. Is it under the ball cap? Oh, there, oh, oh thank oh, God. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I won't cut my hair, Al, I promise. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> well, when's the last time you had your hair cut? I mean, didn't you get, I don't know. Did you get COVID hair at all? I mean. No, I cut my hair myself. I mean, all you do is just, you know, zip, bada bing, bada boom. Because it's all one length. Oh, okay. So you don't have, you, you can do it yourself, actually? So yeah. So what, what do you do? Just pull it in front of you and go boom, 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 yep. boom. <laughs> Try to do it above the level of the camera here. Wow. Anyway. Uh, hey, Alex, I got a question. Yeah. What, what's up with Roku and YouTube? It works fine on my TV. What do you mean Roku Same and here. YouTube? No, no, YouTube works. It's, the, it, it's YouTube's um, um, pay outfit where you buy 50 channels. Oh. Because there's that the YouTube Plus or whatever they call it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's what they won't carry on Roku. Oh, I see. Well, because Roku's got all those other channels that they want to want you to pay for. Maybe. Well, but what I'm saying is, I, I, when I paid for a Roku, I didn't pay for a Roku to eternally try and make money out of me. Yeah, you know, that yeah, wasn't the deal uh, in the beginning. They were just happy to sell a Roku. You know, the, the only reason I, I like to live where I'm living is because mm -hmm. the Internet provider here is for free. And it's, uh, it's WebPass, Google WebPass, and it's really good. And it's included in my rent, so I'm cool with that. Really? That's why I'm, yeah, that's why I'm reluctant to move out, because I don't want to fucking deal with uh, Xfinity, whatever that is, uh, Comcast. Well, what do, well, who do, you, who do you have your, uh, your, your Internet service through? 
It's um, called Google Web Pass. Oh, really? Yeah. And they just installed it all over San Francisco in the Tenderloin and all these hotels. And, like, it depends on who your landlord is. Most of them will just give it to you for free. I knew handheld thing when my hand's up. Oh, oh, is that your new handheld thing? <laughs> so Google like, did. That's Google annoying. Did that's really gone. annoying. What? Well, good. Then I'll get your attention. What? So a lot of times I raise my hand. You say, yeah, uh, you know, him first and then you, Alan. And then I get totally lost. So I thought I'd hold something else up. Anyhow, uh, Google is doing a thing uh, with everybody that has a Google. What, what's it called? Echo. And, what's that? web pass yeah well i know what i know what that's called but you know you, it, people that are that have the ring doorbell and oh yeah the small <laughs> sidewalk thing. what's happening is yeah, google sure. didn't just happen to give you this other people are giving it up without their permission yeah and it's called google sidewalk or something like that amazon sidewalk oh, really? huh. what yeah. i never uh, heard it, of this it's google i believe who, who owns Ring? Google? Ring is owned by Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. yeah. I just Amazon installed a new one today in front of my house. Hey, really? did, you, did you hear that uh, uh, Jeff Bezos is going to be the first guy to go up in his rocket? Is he crazy? Oh, He's got so much money. It's, it's like he doesn't, that doesn't rocket he realize the last person who went up, she went all over Florida, the poor teacher? <laughs> he must have balls of steel. I could never do that. Oh, I'd do it. You would do it? I'd, I'd do it. I keep sure. on roll with you. I'd do it. If you, if you, you gave me a ticket tomorrow. Like? What? You would really go up? They'd have to knock me out and say, wake me up when you were up there. Just like circling around. I can't be up there with you. Well, it <laughs> is. Uh, you don't know this, but. Imagine but, Tony but, in space. But Jeff Bezos is using a, a, a Chinese rocket. Really? Uh, yeah, the only problem with it is before they can actually Build send up. it up, they have to find somebody fast enough to run away after they light the fuse. <laughs> Thank you. That's the old rocketeering joke. Yep. <laughs> the Chinese I is renting the side up car. Where, but I don't, but I'm seeing her. I don't want to be Am I in trouble now with the Asian community for that joke? <laughs> that should be the least of problems. They can't even ride the subway. But the stop, stop it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I got enough trouble with you calling Chinese food chinks. Okay? I'm always going to call it chinks. My mother said, you know, when I went in her room, in you're you're going to keep calling it chinks till a Chinese person beats the, the you're, you're going to keep calling it that till a Chinese person beats the living crap out of you. <laughs> I or spits in my food if they hear it. Well, they probably array you. She loved the chinks too, though. Well, we she used to always get chicken chow mein. Yeah. She changed it up sometimes. When you went in there, you didn't call it that, though, did you? No. But oh, they, you okay. Know, we, we, do you know we ordered so much one time they send us a Christmas what you, time? What do you want me to do? I couldn't if, believe that. If we go out for Italian, you want to, are you going out for, for uh, uh, guinea food? A guinea Wop. food? Wop. Come on. Wop. Alex, Wop food? My, the real guineas, they hang the sausage in the bathroom to dry it out. That's how guinea they are. I told you that. I told you That's part of my family want to laugh. Part of, see, my mother was never a giddy because we never spoke Italian. But part of my father's side, who we didn't really see some of the family, but I'll never forget this. They were naming all their first sons after the grandfather. So when they used to say, Michael, come to eat, all the, like three or four kids used to run to the table. So my mother's like, my mother's like, we're never doing it, Leo. We're not naming it. She told my father that. She says, if you think we're naming him after your father, you're crazy. Because everybody was having the same name. It was stupid. My mother was right about that. Boy, you just you wind him up. Name. You know, that's all you got to do is wind him up. Absolutely. I know. I was missing George Foreman named all of his sons George. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. six of them or something. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. He might, and he's not even Italian. No. But, but how do you know what to do? I mean, people I'm come. Oh, George. Yeah. yeah. And well, they all come up. Then, then, then six kids, kids come funny. running. You know. I mean, it's, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I got. I have a headache tonight. Yeah, you know what? what? what, what I, was miss, I was missing her a little bit over the weekend. What? I was missing my mom a little bit. Oh, well, you can always go out and visit her. Visit her. Well, yeah. I put flowers down because it's my father's birthday this week. Mm -hmm. And I said, Dad, listen, I'm sorry that she had to join me so fast. Because he was like, don't, he was in no hurry. Let me have some time for myself. <laughs> it wasn't that long, I said. <laughs> he was joking. Because you know, he was dying on the couch because he was in hospice. 
and he goes, your mother's a good woman. I don't know what I did to deserve her. I never forget. He says, she could be a little tough. I says, Dad, you think she never leaves me alone? But he says, you were the baby. Well, yeah, well, we we know we know the the difficulties by just oh, yeah. watching. Just right. yell, you know that one time you cursed. She she was in the bathroom. I'll never forget. Who's saying those bad words? I had to lower the the laptop. Well, who who, who wound up Tony tonight? You mentioned my mother. Where, where's the off? The where's the off switch? I gotta get a cup of coffee because I think she's wanting me. I'm gonna get that Ouija. Oh, oh, you, yeah. What you what you really need is coffee. <laughs> what you he really needs is another cup of coffee. Yeah. Try it's cocaine. Nice to, it's yeah. nice to talk to him when he's had a little less caffeine this week. I do caffeine every night. It doesn't wake me up. This is what I do, Alex. I watch old movies, Jack Benny, and I drink K-Cups all night. <laughs> I believe him. And now you want to know, you want to know why I'm thinking of, of quitting this whole thing. Yeah, right. Tony, oh, what makes me feel totally normal. What? Tony makes me feel totally normal. Yeah. <laughs> When you, when you started thinking you were nuts. Yeah, that's right. It, when things are going to go yeah. crazy, yeah. I go, think about Tony. Yeah. So what do you guys want to talk about tonight? I, I am I am so out of it lately that I just don't even have the strength to think about any. What What's in the news? I can't even figure out what's in the news <laughs> lately. They're Joe trying Manchin to kill is an idiot. Guy. What? <laughs> Joe Manchin is an idiot. Oh, I thought you said he was an alien. And they got Fauci as like some kind of lawyer. They're single-handedly trying to totally kill the 80-year-old Fauci, the guy who's been Poor serving, guy. what, five presidents, but now he's evil and he's a liar. You would have thought oh, this guy was Satan, really. Yeah, started. someone on Facebook said, you know, he's a 33-degree Mason and a something Satanist, and I was like, oh, good God. He's, it, it's, in, I tell you, it's fucking insane. It's bizarre. Yeah. Well, uh, it is. Uh, Vernon? Well, my beloved Mitch McConnell today decided yeah. after Joe Manchin had said that the John Lewis Act is something he could support, Mitch McConnell comes out and says, I'm against it. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just obstructions. In other words, the Voting Rights Enhancement Act, Mitch McConnell is against it. Oh, yeah. So, oh, figure. Why am I not, surprised? Not why, I, Republicans. why am I surprised about that? Yeah, really. You know? Taken into, uh, That's why Joe Manchin came fact, to you. In spite of the fact that earlier this decade, he was, a, he was in favor of expending, extending the voting rights protection. Mm. Now he's against it. Help the Republicans. Uh, 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 no, that's because so many people voted in 2020 that Trump lost. Are we? So ex uh, but are we expecting um, uh, Mitch McConnell to make sense at all? He always goes he back on him. everything he, he says. Yeah, you know, he always takes another position. Seven dollars. What? Well, Boy, don't drink any more of that, Tony. I got it for seven dollars. A big jug at Costco. <laughs> Chock full of nuts. I'm gonna be bouncing off the wall. Tonight. Please don't don't let your he's child be bouncing off the wall like he's not now. And and then we got we got Ray Renati. He's uh, I don't know what he's doing there. He's at the grocery store. It looks like he, I guess I'm at the safe. I'm at the Safeways. Yeah. I just I just very, left the very Costco. Good, the Safeways. Very good. I that was good. I'm at the Safeways, as my grandma used to say. Why don't you get some coffee for Tony, Ray? Hey, I just had to tell you that oh, not, only cut you George, not only did George Foreman uh, name his sons George, he named his daughters George as well. Oh, and, you're uh, not kidding me. Georgina? No, just George. Oh, They're just all George. George. Sons just George. and daughters. Oh, John Larkin, seven, earlier like earlier them, you wrote here when I was talking about the movie about George Gershwin. You Which said one? that it was what? Rhapsody in Blue. It was Rhapsody oh, in Blue, Blue. yeah. I th but you that wrote something else down. He you, was also in a, in American in Paris. American in Paris. Well, no, he was uh, who George Gershwin. No, no I think he wrote the music. No, uh, uh, Oscar, Oscar Levant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. He he right. was, uh, but uh, yeah, no. The movie was Rhapsody in Blue. Yeah, I thought you were saying the movie was American in Paris. No, no anyway. Um, so, um, um, you know, uh, 
I, w I was looking up uh, um, the the whole thing that Mansions against uh, or is for, which is the uh, uh, filibuster, mm -hmm. and the whole thing, the whole filibusters concept is draconian. You know, I mean, what it's meant is yeah. so that a small group of, of, of people can literally obstruct anything that they want yeah. to put forward yeah. in the Senate. And yeah. where before, at least they had to get up and, you know, sing songs for 40 hours or do something which took some kind of energy. It was invented during Reconstruction by the, uh, the Southern Democrats that yeah. were fighting against slavery. Yeah. yeah. I mean, fighting for slavery. But... And he, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. now they don't even have to do that. Yeah. You know, they can just say filibuster, and they and they got to have sixty votes. Yeah. yeah. They should have to stay there and fucking argue their point every single day. And, and as soon as there's not enough people there to make sixty votes, then the, the well, Democrat when is the American are, public going to be fed up with the Republicans? Is what I don't understand. Yeah, I think they you know, I mean, well, they're not fed up with the Republicans and they should be. Yep. You know? Yep. Well, Trump thinks that he's going to run again, it sounds like. He's, he wants to be Speaker of the House. It was in the news today. Oh, is that the newest People, thing? They think he had his pants on backwards, I heard. Yeah. yeah after his that ass was in the funny. front. <laughs> is that true? Because I have to look at it. Somebody said it. No. No, I said it. This guy's walking around with his pants backwards. I've seen it all. I said. I hate, <laughs> I, was where you your, I hate where you zip your pants up and your butt hair. Well, different. I looked at it. It did look like, unless it, it did kind of look like his ass was in the front. I was going to be like, oh, God. <laughs> you were looking at his head. Oh, though. Lord. I says, how are you? You were looking at his head. head. Did anybody, did anybody, did anybody hear Did anybody hear his speech on su Saturday? Huh? You know, of course, you wouldn't. Kathleen. I watched a little bit of it. It's just the same old, same old. He has nothing new to say. It's getting old. It could have been a contender. Yeah. Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah. How the hell could he become House Speaker? That's what I was thinking. How could he? How easy? How? Speaker of the House. He runs for he runs for a a Congress seat. He wins. And Where? If if, if the Republican. In Florida, yeah. In Florida, maybe, Florida. yeah, maybe Florida. Yeah, and, and well, and he becomes a, a congressperson, and if the Republicans yeah. have the majority, you know, I yeah. just got I just got this yellow stuff all over my watch. And well, that's he, you. You deserve that, okay? He, he wants to lead the impeachment of Biden. That's why he wants to get elected. Yes. Uh, into, yeah. yeah. He wants to lead. You don't the have to be a member of Congress to be Speaker of the House. Anybody can be Speaker of the House. Is that I true? can be Speaker of the House. Oh, why well, vote do for it, Charlie? Charlie do it, Charlie. Uh, do it. Who told you that, Charlie? I don't think so. <laughs> that is true, John. Really? You Google it. You do not have to be a member of the House to be Speaker. Wow, I didn't you know. You don't? That. No. I mean, I could be named Speaker of the House. Yeah. If Trump were made Speaker, if they take the House in 2022, make mm -hmm. Trump Speaker, and then impeach Biden and Harris. Trump becomes president again. What? Yep. Okay. <laughs> You're talking about impeaching them. Over what? What have they done that's impeachable? You have to commit a crime. Okay? okay. You have to commit a crime. They stole the election and they colluded with the Ukrainians. So that's it. Well, no, but they didn't do it while in office. I'm kidding. I don't believe oh. that. Yeah, but even if even if they could prove something like that, they they did that before he was in office. It has to be while you're in office you commit a crime. The only reason why we have impeachment is because you a president cannot be held to account for anything uh, legally. The only thing you can do to a president is impeach him, which is saying he committed a crime finding him guilty of that, throwing him out of office, and then you can charge him with whatever you want to. Which is what we're currently in the process of doing. What did he do? Who? 
Trump? I mean, he's been, no, I'm, well, Trump is said, I'm telling you, I want him to drop dead, Alex. I want to wake up. And, oh, oh geez, here we go again. I do. I, I between this, between and this, and the name for Alexa, I'm waiting for the news to break. Trump no, between, between, the, <laughs> between this and the name for uh, Chinese food, and uh, I'm, 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 this show is over. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be. You call it ch chinks too, Alex. Dri no, I don't call it that. Never oh. did. Oh, I, maybe you I, I think we all hope uh, Trump dies, but, but at, uh, at a golf for, course. Yeah, nobody's saying that somebody should go shoot him because then. No, you know, no, I want him to die natural causes, really. Yeah, maybe yeah. he chokes on something. Him you know, like cancer of the hemorrhoids or something. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't be in good health. Gonadism of the gonadism. <laughs> That's what he should get is gonadism. <laughs> These gonads explodes and they cause a blood clot and it goes right to his heart. Rips through those. I want something really like fast. What is, you know what, pull -ups? what is with you tonight, Tony? You know what it is? You mentioned my mom and I felt good and then you got me jazzed up with it a little bit. I don't know. It's the coffee, Alex. I'm watching the basketball game. Yeah, it is. It's definitely the coffee. He didn't get his socks, I heard, and then you were complaining. Where do you order these socks from? <laughs> so he's the only guy who couldn't get socks. Socks on the internet? I ordered, no, I ordered some socks on the internet. Yeah. And Phil was telling you that he got he ordered some kind of socks and he come I was listening to you guys. Yeah. I was like, "What?" Well, no, I order I order uh, these uh, Zumbas. Oh, you got the Zumba. Okay. Oh, they Zumbas came, right? or Bombas? Bombas, are excuse they, are they me. Zumbas. I get the crew. I get the little for the summer I wear the crews though. Like the See, I'm ones. out of it. I'm out of it. Bombas. Yeah. Are they like the ones that they give you in the hospital with like the little Yeah, I got the grips on mine. Yeah. Oh, Actually, Jesus, this is, this is... Don't ever give this guy coffee again. <laughs> Alex, don't ever give me any... Imagine if you gave me drugs. Forget about it. I'd be up all night. Forget about it. I love it. I stay up all night. I'll tell you what to do. What to do is case. you should hang up right now, drink about four more cups, and then call Jack. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Jack will throw me off. My brother knows. I, he's, he's drinking coffee again. It's, it, all he does is hear me laugh in the other room. What's going on? I'm watching. <laughs> and I love the look on, on, on Vernon Nunn's face through this whole conversation. Yeah, yeah. I'm like a night out. Yeah, uh, Vernon's <laughs> just pissed that his <laughs> wife didn't <laughs> pack the coffee for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been doing for grins down there, Vernon? Uh, mostly walking the dog and reading. Yeah. Can't you do that at home? Yeah, but it's just nicer there. Nice. Yeah, it's nice, nice, cool mountain air here. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Different scenery. Maybe that's what I need is mountain air. Maybe that's yeah, what I need. Go, you should go to the country for a, uh, you, Marjorie, for a weekend where it's nice Take and cool. Tony with you. You guys would have a good time. <laughs> He'd leave me off from Woodstock <laughs> and tie me to a tree. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll we'll get a thermos full. We'll put we'll, we'll you in the car with a thermos full of coffee. Yeah, that would be that would be a real recipe. For this. That'd be the worst thing. You, I'd never shut up. Aren't you glad, <laughs> Kathleen? You're really not married to him. <laughs> oh God, she would have yep. threw me out. No, I I'd have never thrown him out. Mama, where's my food? Shut up, ready. All of a sudden, can you make me this? I'll kill him. I swear, I'll kill him. <laughs> There's part Pink, of me that goes. Just one more pot of coffee. <laughs> can I have pink? I see just one more. I have to pink. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, oh, I, I fell on that. I just wonder: should I, uh, should I stop him, or should I just sit back and just listen and see I'll how stop. far he goes? I don't want to show from everybody else. Yeah. What is this? What kind of banana stuff and put them in my pancakes? Like mix it with the batter. I used to like. That's it. good. With the she batter. She used to say, "What, what is it? What I put in?" I said, "Well, I think there's bananas." I used to put like a two-year-old. <laughs> my brother used to be like, "He's a lost cause." <laughs> hey, where can I get this coffee? Where are you getting this coffee? What kind of I coffee got, is uh, this? Was it Costco? I went to Long Island City. It's the Dunkin' Donuts. It's the Dunkin' Donuts K cups. And I got the K cups too, Alex, in the same place on sale. Twenty dollars. I had to get yeah. it. I swear, I had to throw it in my room. I got like seven cups. Wow. <laughs> I love Tony. <laughs> Alex, it's I sold this for twenty dollars. I grabbed it right away. My brother was shopping. I gotta get this. I was trying to get my cups. Box. Ecological yeah. disaster. You gotta throw seven. all those cups away. Yeah, yeah. really. Seven seventy-two. That's like. I watched the basketball game and I can stay up all night. 
That's enough that's for one week. week for Tony. Can, what's the by, by the way, by the way, did you hear Costco is starting an adoption agency for children? Yeah. 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 The only thing is, you have to t get by two of them. <laughs> and, and, and and you get them, they put them together with like tape. <laughs> like the peanut butter hacks, yeah. remember? I got the big jugs of peanut butter. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> hey, boo hoo for the Lakers. Boo fucking who? I, don't know. I was glad they lost. Same well, here. Yeah, I'm just tired. I mean, please. That Anthony Davis, I mean, I thought he was faking the injury a little bit, but he was really hurt. I was like, oh, God, he's hurt, this guy. He could barely get up the court. I was like, he shouldn't even be out there. And then LeBron, bom, 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 Yeah, he got up and left five minutes after it before the game. By the way, if any of you want to talk among each other, go right ahead. Cool. Tony's just having a conversation with himself. I would pray the Knicks had LeBron. I'd be like, okay. I was watching Durant the other night. They look off the charts. Alex, you could go on vacation. Durant is like, what? toying with them. What, 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 Jeff? What? Nick, you go on vacation. Yeah. Tony will start talking. And now be it. We want to talk about. We'll it. just leave him here, and oh, we'll all go menu. away, and he'll just keep talking and talking and That's talking. Right. Yeah. And, do it like and, my mother used to do. And, and juicing up. My father up a, used to say, "Hold the wheel, Nancy, because I'm going to hit him if it keeps going on." Shut up. <laughs> I talked so much one time. My father got lost. He went past the exit. Uh, that was it. He used to jump. Just to drop you me. off. No, my mother was like, "Leave him alone." I said, "I'm getting hungry. Like, Come I on." Have a question. What? Tony, I have a question for Tony. Okay. Have you lived in that house all your life? Your yeah. Life? Wow. Well, actually, we were downstairs, and then my grandmother lived up here, and my grandfather. And then when they passed away in the mid-70s, mid my mother wanted to move upstairs because she always said it's good luck to move up. I said, I don't know where she got it. She had all these, like, sayings. I said, well, Go I guess she had another room. But it was, you know what? Theoretically, we should have stayed in the middle of Palm because as you get old, you know, the more you talk, the less people are listening right now. I know. God rest her soul, Mom. <laughs> Wherever she, she better be up there. I got. I found more palms in her drawer. At least Jeff won't fall asleep. We're gonna start crying. All right, right. Shut up, will you, Tony? Just shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, Thanks, on. Alex. Let's a little snap around. I'll mute myself. Anyway, um, uh, by the way. Um, Sirius XM should probably rehire me because I've really helped them. It seems I sold all my stock in Sirius XM the other day, oh, yeah. and, and they went up 50 cents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you moved it. But I don't think it's going to last. And more than that, we're investing in other places that will make me decent. I hope you can take my advice and buy Bitcoin. No. Oh. No. I did. I sold it all, though, and I made a good profit. I sold it before it crashed. Yay. Well, what is Drudge? What is the Drudge coin? A Doge coin? Doge coin. Doge coin. Doge coin. Doge coin. What is a Doge coin? I don't That's know. A coin. You know, go <laughs> ask what's his name, Mr. Uh, Tesla. <laughs> it's a little coin. <laughs> That's my son, testicle. <laughs> Did you hear? Did you see what happened though? With the uh, you know they they paid off those uh, uh, those uh, ransomware people to the tune of about five million dollars, yeah. and the government managed to get back. about two and a half million of it back, yeah. because supposedly there is a way of tracing Bitcoin. Oh really? Ah. Yeah. So. Well, but but the um, the FBI was in contact with the company you know, before they made the payment, you know, so they were able to trace it you know, right. that way, you know. Right, but they managed to get a good deal of it back, and that's that's yeah. terrific, you know. I'm that's on Roku cool. right Addison. now, and the Tennis Channel is uh, $29 a year on special right now. No. I don't even have a Roku. Yeah, right. Well, you know, the, what, 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 what is he buying? What is, what is that? <laughs> what, 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 what is that? He must be sick, or what is that? Little corn on the cobs? That looks like it should be little coming. pineapples. Pineapples. Oh, pineapples! Boy, from here it looks yeah. like like something that should be coming out, coming out of you, you not make going pizza in. with that? Pineapple pizza? pizza? Oh, pineapple! No, it's, it's a, wait, wait, a, wait, a, wait a minute! Pineapple what pizza? What's that? Got beer in the thing. Corona. Oh, everybody, quiet a second. Corona. Quiet. Be quiet. No one's drinking. Wait, shut up, Tony. <laughs> okay. What do I gotta do? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, got it. All right, cool. 
Sorry. Don't Carrot cake, to check pineapples, and jacket. beer. I hope all you people beer. are enjoying this program tonight. We're showing you things like pineapple. And then John Larkin is telling us how much he likes what I consider the biggest abomination in the history of culinary. I'm and that you, is, that is the, pineapple. the pineapple pizza. There is no such thing. He's not going to mm. put pineapple oh, on the pizza. Pineapple, man. It's the best. Pineapple is to shove in the beer. That's why they're cut up small. Oh, really? Isn't that what he said? He doesn't have anything edible on that tray. Does he? You shut the carrot cake in the beer. Oh, he's got carrot cake. Yeah, you, know, you know the oh, word shoot, for have, pizza is potatoes. Oh, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, Ray. Are you checking yourself out now? Make sure he pay, make sure he pays for everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm checking myself out, and I accidentally went in line here with beer, so now they're gonna have to come and help oh, me. Oh shit, that's uh -huh. right. <laughs> shit, I screwed up. Damn it. <laughs> I always do that. Well, you like should forget you should, that alcohol is a food. You know what my mother used to do? She used to put the. Oh, she used to always put like vegetables on the knees. Tony, the and not pay for Tony, it. Tony, Tony, zip it. Naughty bad. <laughs> I'm putting you on waivers for a couple of minutes here. Okay, <laughs> all right. I don't want to have to do you here what I did to you on on Facebook. Spanky, spanky. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Mistress Kathleen will have to give you a spanking. Body <laughs> bad. <bit> like that. <laughs> There's the paddle. <laughs> Sounds like a reward, not a punishment. Uh, Can I get pancakes? Well, you know, we don't you know, know where Charlie's mind's at. We don't know what where where what side Lord. of the sexual coin uh, Tony is buttered. Uh, but uh, I think neither does Tony. So that's you know. It's not a mystery. It's a mystery to all of us. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so John Larkin, Tenderloin. Yeah. yeah. I saw it on TV the other day. They did some stuff about some stuff in the Tenderloin. Are you having problems there? Which rough area? Yeah, well, what kind of problems? A lot, a, lot of, a lot of homelessness in that area. A lot of homeless, a lot of drugs. Really? Needles, poop. But didn't somebody yeah. come in and try and help them with something like free internet or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> That keeps it in the house. If you pay rent. <laughs> well, if you pay rent, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well. Um, yeah, the, yeah, there's um, there, there's always like about once a month there'll be like an article in the New York Times about something, you know, to do about the, the tenderloin. But it's always the same, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Charlie, deaths. How many deaths do we have? We're, we're, we're 454 deaths today. Now, is that, be is that worse or better? Let's Wait a minute. Now he That's froze good. up. Well, we just lost to, we just lost Charlie. Oh, uh, I still see him. He's just not talking. I see him. He's frozen. Yeah. Mm. He went out and got a new computer last week. Thought that that was his problem. Mm. I guess not. Uh, are you there, Charlie? Deezed. Yeah. You to move to the tenderloin and get free internet. <laughs> that is that is textbook gonadism. <laughs> and and Ray, we have no picture on Ray. Are you this still there, Ray? He's oh yeah, he's still there. Okay, I'm here. I, I was having problems. Yeah, wait, uh, I, I, I I screwed up and tried to buy alcohol in the in the self checkout. Yeah, we heard that earlier. Were you trying to sneak? Yeah, and, were you trying to sneak out with the beer? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's just the kind of guy I am. Yeah. No, I. Uh, no, now I got to go back in line and buy the damn alcohol. Oh my uh, God. Why couldn't you buy the alcohol in the same yeah. line as you were checking because, out? Because because they don't allow it because you could be uh, under 21. Oh, you look like you're under 21, Ray. Yeah, I know. With the, with the hat and the mask. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, in New York, you cannot even, like, I'm sure you picked up the beer in the store, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, here in New York, you can't have alcohol in the same store that in other words, you can't have it in the grocery store. It has to be in another store. So oh, like wow. Costco, for instance, and a lot of their stores in New York uh, have a liquor store right next door to Costco. Oh. 
How stupid. Oh, that's that's crazy. crazy. That's, that's like you probably can't yeah. buy your cough drops in a liquor that's store. Like Oklahoma. Well, we used that's to- how it was up in Washington when oh, my really? best friend came down when, you know, I was in my 20s. I took her to Safeway and she was like, holy shit, there's booze here. And I said, yeah, California, palm trees and booze. Oh, yeah. You can buy beer and stuff right in there. So I'm surprised they make you go out of you have to go through a different line or something Is you, that you have to go through the person with the person checking you out uh, oh. because if they want to check your oh, ID, you oh you were oh you were doing the uh, the self checkout uh, self checkout i see yeah, yeah. In, in utah their beer is um neutered it's, it's three two it's, beer yeah it's special you know lowered uh oklahoma too what do you really? mean three, what do you mean yeah. three, what do you mean oh, that's three, gross three two well no beer? it's Michelob light is three two beer yeah it's just less alcohol. We used to have a beer in California that they always sold at clubs after two o'clock in the morning when the uh, when the bars closed down. Called Near Beer. Do you remember oh, that? Oh yeah. Yeah, I buy. I there's good ones now. Yeah. The the the, the, the no, ones back. But it then was actually was called. It was actually called Near Beer. Uh, Why is it Near Beer? Yeah. And it and, came out of the toilet. And because yeah. and I could drink it because I wouldn't know. I didn't know the difference. Because I just yeah. don't drink. Don't, so I would drink. I drink. Well, because also you would go into clubs in those days, and there was a minimum amount of booze you had to buy in order to oh, sit good. there. Okay. Oh. What a racket. You know, a cover charge, as it were. And, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. And they tell, you, no. they tell you you have to buy a minimum of two drinks, and then when you made your first order, they would bring the two drinks. Oh, they would bring them right away? Yeah. Say if you didn't want it, though, oh, you could yeah. just say, just leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like uh, you know, when you go to those strip clubs and the the uh, the girl says, "Will you buy me a drink?" and you you, you go, "Well, sure," you know. I mean, and they, but they always bring those little small little pony bottles, you know, and they charge you like ten bucks or twenty bucks for them. Yeah, yeah. You know, John, when you see the coupons for the buy one get one free strip club, look yeah. me up. I'll come up there and take you to the strip club. Where? Well, I don't know. They're, they got to be around. Well, you know, I'll, um, I'll bring I'll bring a video camera and we'll tape you doing. You know, that's how that's how old you, you know you what's are. for sale is the Mitchell Brothers that's, is for sale. That, really? That, yeah, that, the building. I so they got a big for sale sign. That's on like it. on Polk and something, isn't it? Yeah, Polk and O'Farrell. They still have oh. the they still have the whales and everything on the side yeah, of the building. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But, I'll bet um, they, I drove through there uh, on the way from Golden Gate Bridge. I went down Polk uh, yeah. the other night, and yeah. It, it's been closed though since for because of the pandemic and stuff. You know but, the, the two brothers that originally owned it, one killed the other. Yeah, yeah. And he went to prison Alex for Newton? three weeks and got out and went back to being a billionaire or millionaire again. Alex and running Newton, the club. Guys, he used to I, I knew I, I knew them. Yeah. Artie yeah. and what's his Artie and Yeah. It was yeah. Artie and what was the other guy's name? Artie. I don't know. Uh, Artie. Artie and uh, and and uh, Jim. Jim and Artie, yeah, yeah. Jim and Artie. And Artie. Which one got killed? Uh, it was Jim. 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 Artie killed Jim. Yeah. 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 Jim, was, was, Jim was a pretty nice guy. He was a pretty sweet guy, but he had problems, you know. He was uh, supposedly, I mean, the excuse that uh, that uh, Artie gave when they said, why'd you kill him? I just couldn't take it anymore. You know, he was just too much to put up with. He was constantly he threatening He drank too much family. coffee. Yeah, he was like Tony. <laughs> Tony's, Tony's kind of the Artie Mitchell of this show. <laughs> Don't worry, Tony. I'll protect you. Yeah. <laughs> you know the Mitchell brothers. They had a lot of. They had a lot of in with the, the you know the fathers of the of the city. They they get off on all that shit because. Oh yeah, they did. They they know they knew everybody and they were friends with Willie Brown and all. Oh yeah, people, so. it, 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 back uh, in the seventies, it was like a. a uh, For people like who are who are line. listening to us and don't know what the hell we're talking about, the Mitchell Brothers owned a club in San Francisco, a theater called the Mitchell Brothers Theater, and they made porno films and they showed them there, and they had strip shows and all kinds of things going on in in the Mitchell Brothers. So. The Mitchell Brothers were fr- was friends with Jim Jones and his little uh, oh, really? church. Yeah, I just watched the whole documentary on that whole thing, on the whole Jim Jones thing. Oh, you saw it on Netflix? I didn't see it. No, it wasn't on Netflix. It was on Hulu. Oh, Hulu. But, but, I recently discovered how to refrigerate any room in the my house. What, what, what is that? 
I think that's great. It's an ad about gonadism. Oh. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> anyway, where I don't have gonadism. Where was I? Oh, so no. Anyway, oh, so you just, ride a bike. Uh, I was watching the thing about Jim Jones. Now and, you got my curious. Is and, it good? And I, as I watched it, you know, because I wasn't in San Francisco and all of that was going down, so I wasn't all that familiar with him. Oh, but when wow. you see this whole thing in in uh, in, uh, in the whole timeline, you go, uh -huh. didn't anybody realize this guy was nuts from the beginning? I oh, mean, a lot of, I he, mean, he had a lot of politicians in his pocket. A lot of politicians in his pocket, but really? yeah. didn't they know oh, yeah. that he was he was loony to the tunes? But, he yeah. was doing a lot of good for the city, though. He was feeding people and everything. Uh, no, he 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 yeah uh, he he was doing a lot of stuff for the homeless, but yeah. he was a power broker. He had all the politicians in his pocket because yeah. he, you know anytime they needed a crowd of people, he could go like that and show up. 150 people would show up for any kind yeah. of a political thing. Jackie so, yeah, right. Beer was lucky. But you know when, when I when I was a kid, I used to go to concerts at Winterland and. Uh, his church was just across the street from there, really? and and they, they used to come and try to recruit people, you know, in the line, passing out flyers and stuff. And I remember looking, we'd be all stoned, like when I was in high school, and we'd go, hey, what this guy looks like Elvis, because he had the sunglasses, you know? <laughs> didn't didn't the, 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 the People's Temple was just a couple, about a block away from the Fillmore, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right yes. next door. Yeah, right next, right next, next door. door. And, and you, know what, you know what it was before it was the, uh, the People's Temple? What? It was a synagogue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I was growing up, that was a synagogue. Now it's a post office. Is it right. really? Yeah. Well, the, the, it burned down, and then they rebuilt it, and it's in a it's a post office now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so yeah, it was really good, Alex, the documentary then? No. I watched an hour and a half of it because it sucked. No, I'm, not a, <laughs> I'm going to watch it now. It's a couple of parts of it. But, I mean, uh, it, 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 if, what was the... Uh, uh, they, oh, here's, here's a little piece of trivia for you. What term came from that whole situation? Drinking the Kool-Aid. That's right. Yeah. What, what have you been doing? Drink, drinking the Kool-Aid? Yeah. But yeah. It, I thought it always just meant, well, I never even thought about it, and it came from Jonestown. Yeah. 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 Before that, Drink nobody the ever... Drink Kool-Aid. Yeah, nobody Boy, ever, Congressman Ryan didn't do so well leaving there. No. He died. But Jackie's Leo got right. lucky. She got, yeah, but she yeah. got, she, she, she got she hit. Shot a couple times, got on the yeah. plane and got out of there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. She then, laid like on the tarmac for like eight, nine hours. Didn't she Was run for, long? didn't she run for Ryan's old seat? She faked death. Yeah. Yeah. She has, she has his seat now. Still He's to right. this day. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yep, she faked she was dead. She just lay there faking yeah. she was dead yep. for like a whole day. Do you day. think they knew what they were, they were drinking? Or do you think, I was curious, do you think they knew when he handed it out? or did he They claim it? that he, yes. he, 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 he had done a lot of dry runs of this and with real Kool-Aid. And so mm -hmm. they just thought this was just another one of those things to prove their, you know, that they were on his side or whatever. So you they know? did it. You know, I, I got to tell you, when somebody but, says, drink the Kool-Aid or I'll shoot you, which he had his armed guards yeah. there with oh, really? weapons pointing at him, that would be a clue to me that there's something wrong with the Kool-Aid. Well, yeah, but some of the some of the upper people in the organization knew it was the real one, and they ran and went yeah. into the trees and escaped because they knew that yeah. wasn't well, another, there was this another one woman uh, on the fire drill. One, one woman right. on the documentary, and her brother, I think, went to jail for, for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that was um, late. Larry Layton. Larry Layton. But her name is Deborah Layton, and I had her on my show a couple of times in San Francisco, and I was hot for her. I mean, okay. she was, she was, she was. She always had a and picture. She's of on the documentary. On she's show. on the doc in the documentary, and she still looks great. Who is it? Huh? One of the cult members? No, yeah, yeah she's away. She got away. She managed. To, I the think one what that she got away. I think what she did was a day before that all went down. She made an excuse to go into town, as it yeah. were, and yep. and she went through the jungle into town and was away from there when all that happened and went down. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, I'm yes. actually surprised. You know who I'm talking down. about, Ray? Yes, I do. I watched the documentary, and I that's exactly what she did. Yeah. And yes, she is. She was very good looking. It still is. <laughs> Or, you know. Yeah. No, but I mean, yeah. I, 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 and I, I said to everybody around me, I said, "Is there any any reason why I should be getting hot for a woman who, you know, had sex with with, with Jim Jones?" 
you know, I mean, but she was, she was, she was something. She was quite something. I remember I had a paper route, and each day while I was folding my papers, that death rate was going up, up, really? up. Mm-hmm. It was insane. Really? Yeah, paper route too, Kathleen. Sunday. They couldn't awesome. believe it. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't believe what. The, that that many people actually died. I mean, they they, yeah. they they didn't announce it for sure for days because it just sounded so unbelievable. Well, it, um, it, there still hasn't been the the uh, a documentary on on the psychology of it all. But the fact mm-hmm. was that these people were taken away from their homes, put in the middle of a jungle somewhere, and uh-huh. then all the information about the outside world that they got came from him. Yep. So when it came time to do this, they thought the whole world was coming down on them, when it really wasn't. It was coming down on Jim Jones, but it wasn't coming down on Jim them. Jim Jones had a great sex life. He had sex with the women, sex with the children, male and female. You know, I uh, had 17 wives. He was a mess. Oh, he, he was a mess. He was a mess. His son is on the documentary. His, oh, yeah. yeah. And he I, just said, boy, he said... He was doing drugs like you wouldn't believe. You know, well, I'm actually surprised it didn't take Willie Brown down. And uh, who was the uh, the mayor uh, Moscone that was killed? He was tied in with him. Really? Was Moscone still, yeah. still alive at that point? I guess was he Moscone still alive at that point? Yeah, I guess so. The, 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 the milk Moscone murder happened about two or three weeks after uh, after the Jones Jonestown. Jonestown. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't realize yeah. it was that close. Yeah, yeah. So it happened in... Uh, not even two weeks. It was seven, like... 19, it, it was about a week away. It was about a week away, if I recall. It was like one week yeah. later, Jonestown, a week later was the Moscone milk Moscone murder. was well, killed in the Moscone, The Moscone thing. Dan White was the guy who yeah. shot them. Yeah. And, yeah. and he got off uh, the, with relatively a small the sentence. The Twinkie. Man, the defense. Twinkie defense. The Twinkie defense. He got off Having with to do the Twinkie with defense. With uh, too Having much, to Tony. Just for your information, capacity. he got he got off for taking too much sugar. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So eating too much junk food. <laughs> Who was his lawyer? Hostess cupcakes? I mean, come on, already. How did they get him off? No, they weren't I cupcakes. They were Twinkies. They were and Twinkies. because he ate all those Twinkies, he suffered from diminished capacity. Ah, and yes, then, that was right. the term. The twink- Only that would have given him the diarrhea. And then he got released in four years, and then he committed suicide in his garage. Yeah. Chicken shit. Yeah, you know, well, he pissed off two of the two powerful hey, people. Can you in imagine? The, city. the you Italians. Get off in four the years. Of the the wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, can you imagine? Al? Alan. Wait a minute. Alan was saying. So, so he he pissed off. He knew that he was th- going to be killed, and he wanted to spare his family. He pissed off the gays and he pissed off the mafia. Moscone was tied to the mob. Oh really? And, oh yeah. And and um and then you know the gay community was very big and he killed Harvey Milk, the first gay. Oh, how are you? Are you sure he was mob associated? Because I never I heard that. I wasn't there. But I never heard that. Yeah, no. I don't think he was. I don't he know. Was he was I don't know. He was Italian, aren't well, they no, all? Then, no, no, no. Ali, no. no. <laughs> Moscone was an Aliota. Aliota. Oh, Tony. <laughs> well, my uncle Moscone Tommy was might have been a bookie. Mom. I'm not really sure. He never well, worked. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Don't say anything that. bad about Aliota because oh, yeah. Angel is a friend <laughs> of mine. Somebody said yeah. something bad about me. Good for them. No, mm-hmm. no. Aliota is great, but he did have mob friends. Yeah, but he wasn't in the mob. No, no. But we were talking about Moscone, Ray. I used no, to... I'm, t- I'm telling you that that the only Italian I, in recent history, I think, in San Francisco office that had some mob connection. I, I think starting Yoto, tomorrow. Oh, okay. Start, starting tomorrow, I'm just going to refer to the show as the coffee hour. Yeah. Uh, geez, boy, everybody's been amped up tonight. Let's all have I'm a cup of coffee. I mean, Ver, Vernon is the quiet one here, and he's maintained I, his I, composure I, because I don't think he's had any I, coffee. Have you, Vernon? No, oh, puppies in the bedroom. I said the coffee. Puppy. Coffee. Oh, the coffee. Coffee. Oh. <laughs> puppy. You haven't had any puppy. Where's my puppy? Anyway, hey, oh, listen, everybody. The South are weird. Okay, thank you very much, Jeff, and thank you very much, Alan, and thank you very much, Vernon, and thank you very much, Kathleen, and John Larkin, and oh, Tony, coffee, Tony, and uh, uh, Ray. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Ray Renati. Ray Raposo. 
Everybody, I like give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. My, my camera froze tonight. I can't figure out why. I don't understand that. It's never done that before, but there's the first time for everything, and tonight was the night for it to happen. This has been a strange show, folks. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, Jack Bishop. He's next with The Intersection. I'll be back again tomorrow night uh, right after uh, the franchise MC does his sports show here right on GabNet. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you at 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you aren't vaccinated, go get vaccinated. And if you're not vaccinated, also wear a mask until two weeks after the vaccination. Good night, everybody.